Hey, what's up, everyone? Hey, Ross, how you doing? Hey, appreciate that. You did some astronomy for research. Oh, very cool, very cool. And I'm enjoying my morning cup of coffee as well, so cheers. Nice to see you here, and yes, yeah, sooner I would if I knew how to. <laughs> but definitely, because that would be helpful.
Just a quick note on uh, like opposing actions of the body and whatnot. So in this gesture here, um, you kind of see on this side of the body there's this tight kind of crunch, and when it crunches on one side, it's going to elongate on the other side. So it's something to keep in mind when you're first viewing the figure, whatever it is you may be trying to draw. It's trying to pay attention to the gesture lines and uh, situations like this. Uh, it'll help you better see what you're looking at in order to translate and draw it and keeping these principles principles in mind will help strengthen any type of drawing you do outside of observational drawing like this So here, for instance, starting off this figure here, I'm, I'm trying to focus just directly on, on gesture, um, taking a look at different landmarks of the body. Just by getting some quick action lines in here, kind of developing um, a skeleton almost to kind of build on top of 
to look for that where's the squeeze coming from so on that side and then on the side we kind of got that more elongated line so we're just trying to Part of this crunch here is coming from the rib cage and then pinching the pelvis. And then as we go along here, we kind of refine these lines a little bit, pull them in a little bit more for you to. When just drawing from observation like this, it's always best to try to get down as much information as possible, as quickly as possible, and you could always come back and refine it later. So the goal is to get the, the gesture in, get the landmarks, and then we come back and kind of fix everything up, make sure the shapes are right, make sure we're really reading that gesture correctly.
All right, I just want to quickly cover a few things real quick. Um, as far as some of the things that I'm doing here. So one of the things you want to do, um, which I'll get more into, um, I'm planning on trying to create some lessons around some of this stuff. That way, when I uh, do these streams and I'm just kind of doing this observational drawing and whatnot, everybody will have some sort of background or basis for what I'm doing. So I wanted to just go ahead and cover, you know, I mentioned a little bit about um, gesture. Gesture is like the essence of the pose, whatever it is you may be drawing. And you can always really start that off pretty easy. So say we're just going to start with an oval for the head. And you're looking for the main action of the, the body. So I mean, you know, swipe like that. Um, another thing is that once I've got some of the shapes in here, I'm really just using um, some basic basic shapes. So it's cylinder. And this helps show the form of the cylinder. Um, I'm using ovals, which is, see if we were to take a sphere here and use a line to kind of show that cross contour, the curvature. Could have more of a cone situation still based on the cylinder. So you'd have to imagine this is kind of cutting, cutting through here. So once I get a basic gesture in there, you see I'm coming back and I'm using the pretty much cylinder here. So this would be a, a cylinder similar to the one I just drew. So fatter on this side. Thins out at the knee, and these lines here will help us show the curvature of it. And the knee is kind of like a box for the kneecap area, and then you would go into another tapered cylinder for the lower leg. shape here for the foot down here. So I plan to hopefully be able to kind of come up with some different drawing lessons focusing on some of the fundamentals here. And then how these fundamentals would translate to actual observational drawing uh, and how you would utilize some of that.
Alright, so again, just kind of got a basic gesture in here. So make it just a little tinier and smaller. Let's see what we're doing here with this. Um, so I've got just the lines here, basic actions of the body. I've set some structure to the head. Um, as you can see there. And then now it's just going to be a matter of using some of these shapes. So for the arm, you know, we could create a cylinder out of the arm. Same for the lower arm. We can start filling out the, the chest and torso area as a large cylinder as well. Keep in mind that the leg is the same thing. We're going to start with that cylinder here, so we're just kind of using one side of that gesture that we built up. So you see this lower leg is angling towards us. Use a circle to represent the kneecap there in that case. we're able to kind of start with the gesture, get the basic lines in there, and then we're just solidifying our forms from there. I'm going to go freshen up my coffee, take a short break, be right back.
quick note on the lake here, so you can have, we have these two, um, here's the larger kind of cone shape for the upper portion of the lake. Then we've used a ball to indicate the kneecap region. And then this is the smaller cone shape for the lower leg. So this is in line, straight on, that we're seeing. So the lines for the upper legs will curve out this way. The upper leg is coming towards us while the lower leg is going away from us. So you see how you get these opposing contour lines. So in this case, in this case here, the kneecap is the closest thing to the viewer's eye, causing these contour lines to push backwards.
Yeah, I'm gonna step away for one quick minute here and um, we'll hop back to it in a few, all right? I guess I just wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit. Thank you for uh, everyone who tuned in today and uh, watched and chatted. I really appreciate it. Um, it helps a lot. I know I'm probably a little all over the place with this right now, but I'm just trying to stream and record um, most, if not all, of the artwork that I do. My ultimate plan, along with just sharing what I'm creating, is to hopefully be able to 
put together like some lessons so that way um, when I'm doing this type of practice drawing or observational drawing we can all kind of be on the same page with all of that. I actually got my start teaching as uh, an artist. That was my first first real paid gig. Um, and then I did a bunch of comics and whatnot after that. So I'd like to build on that. Kind of go about it in a way. I mean, I've been through lots of different types of artwork. I've taught myself different styles, different methods. So I want to kind of condense all of that and put it into one nice package where people can kind of decipher it on their own and pick what they want and what they need out of it. So that's the, the game plan moving forward. If there's anything in particular you might want to see, something you're struggling with as an artist, um, whether it's something in particular to draw or a concept, you know, drop me a line, let me know. That way I could plan some lessons around that. Overall, I'm just looking to kind of share my work with everyone and uh, kind of build some sort of community around learning art, observational drawing, uh, things of that, that nature. Um, again, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. It's been fun, and I look forward to some more streams. I've got uh, a few different commissions I'm working on now, so I'll be streaming those, as well as some more practice drawing, you know, bust out the big easel, so I'll be recording some of that, too. But, um, yeah, thanks again. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time. All right.